Okay guys, our movie is set in the 13th century about a knight that doesn't want to play by the rules. Any ideas? You know there's a nice St. Maurice sculpture from 1250. Uh, it wears a, a hauberk with a coat of plates and we can also add a great helmet. What's in hauberk? Um, chainmail? Ah, the props guy Dave said to me that they still have a lot of them from the last movie they shot. Oh no, they used zinc plated rings without riveting. They look really ugly, they are very inaccurate and they don't make any sense in terms of protection. A Roman mesh would be nice. Look, we can't afford your nerd stuff, especially since we exceeded the budget by hiring Brad Pitt. And by the way, we won't um, hide his pretty face under a helmet. But the helmet is the most important part of the armor. Imagine some chubby guy rolling over you uh, crushing your bare head with his hands. Unrealistic. No helmet. But what can we do to let him look particularly manly and a bit like an outlaw? What about big shoulder plates? And we can add leather band braces to give him this wild outlaw touch. The 13th century is far too early for this kind of plate armor. And shoulder plates were never that big. Leather band braces don't make any sense. Don't make any sense. Uh, whatever. So we have chainmail, uh, leather band braces and big shoulder plates. Any ideas on weapons? What about a zweihander sword as big as the guy himself? That'd be brutal. Yeah, cool. A zweihander sword is a renaissance weapon. It doesn't make any sense for the 13th century. I don't like your destructive attitude. You're fired. Dude, let's give him a huge two-handed axe. Dude, awesome. <laughs>